Uh, Your Excellency, we are going to talk about uh, CPAC right now. How do you see, uh, as compared to the previous government, are you satisfied with the progress? Yeah. I think that you are very right. CPAC is the a new bond hmm. between China and Pakistan because if you look at the history of the general you know, two countries, hmm. our eco economic relations always uh, is a relatively, I think, is a, is not very close. If you look at the four C type or the four 2013 or time, so starting from 2013, that we started uh, CPAC cooperation under the framework of Belt and Road Initiative. This in fact is a global initiative, initiated by China. We are supposed to have it a kind of regional connectivity platform, and the CPAC naturally is the leading project in this thing. From 2013 to 2018, I think that is you mentioned the previous government, we had a joint planning and a joint construction and uh, this kind of uh, CPAC project, totally with a circuit to have been implemented. Some almost of them have been finished. They are still ongoing and running projects. Then in 2018, we had the election. This mm -hmm. is a natural for democracy and this is also a uh, this is a domestic issue. So you have a new government and the current government. If you have to say I have nothing to complain, this is unsatisfied with the new government. Because it is natural that a new government, a new leader or leadership comes to the new position. He has his own vision, he has his own plan and uh, strategy of uh, developing his own country like the Prime Minister in the hand. So I think that right now after uh, a kind of consultation and the connection with the new government. So right now we call it the second stage of the CPAC. The second stage of CPAC is that first, the first stage for the previous project will keep um, running, mm. functioning as it should. Second is that we will accommodate and we have a new kind of 